You are listening to Apex One Radio. Stay with us for the best bet in the new wave of communication. Apex One Radio. Get informed, enjoy, and learn. Don't want to start to Chakara Remix. Offered by Mr. Ella. And it's featuring Nigeria's Iyanya. Every night I go hold you tight, hold you tight. They call you Mami Wata. Mr. Elad, young, upcoming, dynamic, iron, hardworking Cameroonian urban artist who resides in that country's economic capital. And of course, this is a remix of Chakara, which was done in 2015. The artist comes on the airwaves to tell us about this new piece of music. And he will be speaking live from the economic capital of that great Central African country, call it Duwala. The way that you love me, love me, love me No girl fit for love me, love me, love me You never love to leave me, leave me lonely Hey yo The mother girls are screaming, say they yeah, want me Now you be my one and only honey No man can put us on the sherry I love you, girl, be so good This is a special dedication to Bibish Ella Titiana Maybe you love me A production of Pyramids uh, Production. Beautiful piece of music there. It has for the time to 5 minutes to 11. Here in the studio of Apex One Radio, I should imagine it's 5 minutes to 4 in Duwala, Cameroon. And the artists will be joining us in the next couple of minutes. And when Mr. Elad comes on the airwaves, the story of this beautiful piece of music titled Chakara, remix featuring Inyana will be told. Just one look at you, tell you is the truth. Say, let me be a Mr. Lover, lover. Love, you. love you like no man has ever loved you. Love you. Don't get a man be above you, above you. Yeah, you know where I'm going. I'm so into you, to you. There's so many things I want to show you. The night that me I run, do do all, do all, do do all again. Just girl, it's your love, just they make me near on to me, on to me. Chakara, I'm in this after my head, oh. Chakara, I'm in this after my head, oh. Chakara, beautiful piece of music there. Reaching you from Apex One Radio, you're listening to Fiesta number 54, produced by Maxel Adik from our Val Switch studio in Switzerland, and of course, hosted in the city of Columbus by Ernest Kanji. Let's move on to Douala, Cameroon, where Mr. Elad now joins us to tell us the story of this singer. Mr. Elad, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. How are you today? It's an opportunity, and I'm honoured. Mm. So, how is Douala this afternoon? Uh, Douala is fine. Douala is fine. Little rain in the morning, but now everything is okay. Right. So, Mr. Elad is a Cameroonian musician, like I said earlier on. And once again, want to thank you for joining us on Apex One Radio. It's almost a week eh, since you released the remix of Chakara, uh, which you did with Nigeria's Iyanya. Uh, first question, what has been the reaction of the public since uh, this single was released? <laughs> well, the, the reaction, it, it, it has been lovely. It has been wonderful. Uh, they really love the song. Like, everybody is really behind the song. You know, I, we earlier announced the, the release of the song, and people were already anticipating. And when it came out, they were like, wow, just what we expected. Now, the turnout is really, is really impressive. They really love the song. Hmm, really beautiful. beautiful. So tell us how the arrangement to uh, have this frontline African musician uh, worked with you. How did it come about? Well, I'll just cut a uh, long story short. Hmm. Uh, Inyanya came to Cameroon. Uh, he was invited by Guinness. Guinness to Cameroon. Mm-hmm. So uh, he had a show here. After the show, he asked uh, one of our promoters here, one of our journalists, uh, Tito Valeri, one of our TV presenters and radio personalities also. Right. 
he said he wanted to listen to the songs in Cameroon. Like, he wanted to get the Cameroonian vibe and see who is who in Cameroon, you know. So they played him a couple of songs, and then when he got to Chakara, he listened to Chakara over and over and asked people, who is this guy? So people told him, no, he was a very good singer, R&B, Afro, producer, engineer. He said, man, I want to do a remix with this guy. This guy <laughs> right. is like the next thing in Africa. So hmm. I need to do a song with this guy. Wow. So basically that's how uh, I got in contact with Nyanya. So that same day, they gave him my number. He called like okay. 2 a.m. in the morning. And he was like, boss, I just listened to your song. And I have to be in Nigeria in the morning by 7 a.m. So I want us to do a remix. It's important that I do a remix with you because I really love your song. I'm your fan. Right. So that same time, I was like, wow. It is why I listening to my song. And he's really interested. Then what the deal? I had to call my manager. And then he was like, man, <laughs> let's get to that hotel and do the song. So that was basically what happened. And then we went to the hotel and then set up everything. And that was it. He listened to me instrumental and he got inspired and talked his best. That was that was basically what happened. Right. Hmm. Music Brotherhood there in action. Iyanya and Mr. Ellard. So uh what is this track recorded and under what record label? Uh I'm a mod house entertainment artist. Okay. I'm a mod house entertainment artist. The song was recorded here in Duala. I recorded the song. And I mix the song. I produce the song myself. Hmm, that's beautiful. Under Mod House Entertainment. Right. So, how long did it take you to complete this project? And uh, what was your experience working with this uh, uh, Nigerian artist of great repute? Well, the first thing I realized about Inyanya was that he's very humble. And he's an artist. When I use the word artist, I mean, he's a real, a true, a real and a true artist. Right. Like, he feels the music, you know. There's something in this uh, milieu. True artists, they feel songs. Like, when they, when you see them listen to a song, there's a way that they listen to it. And I saw that thing in the Nyanya, and he was like, wow, okay, this guy is he's not a studio artist. He's an artist artist. Like, he's somebody who has soul in music. He's somebody who can really feel good music. Right. So that's the first thing I realized about him. And he's, he's very humble, and he's very gifted also, because... <laughs> he, he didn't take him up to about uh, 30 minutes for him to complete his verse. And he was like, wow. So I was like, I was really impressed. I was really impressed. These guys, they are really hardworking people. They are really hardworking us. Right. So can be with you. Hmm. Okay, and so if uh, Iyanya chose uh, to work with you on Chakara, it means that that particular song, uh, I mean, uh, touched him in one way or the other. What are you talking about in this song? What is the message you're driving across through this uh, track? Well, first of all, I'd like to say Chakara is a Cameroonian uh, balance. It's an expression in Pidgin, uh, like uh, to say... Uh, a girl, like, when you're in love with a girl and then, like, she takes over your mind. So, in teaching, we say, the girl don't chakara my head. Hmm. Like, you're overwhelmed by her love. Like, you're really in love with her. In teaching, here in Cameroon, what we say is, Master, that girl don't chakara my head. That's normally what a Cameroonian would say. So, it's a love song, and I'm just saying, I'm in love, and the love is overwhelming that I can't even control myself anymore. I just <laughs> want to be with her. Everywhere that I go, I keep thinking about her. That's basically what I'm saying. Like, the love is real and it's overwhelming. All right. That's the meaning of Chakara my head. Mm. So, okay, if uh, I'm getting it right, Chakara was released last year. I mean, the original uh, 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 version. This is a remix yes, you're doing yes. with a Nigerian uh, artist. So, how did the original uh, version perform in the market? Uh, what was the reaction? Well, unfortunately for the original, uh, we didn't really promote the song. Uh, mainstream, we didn't really promote the song. But those who actually got in contact with the song, they really loved the song, the TV stations and the radios, but there wasn't any real promotion about the song. That, that is the unfortunate aspect of everything that concerns the original. We didn't actually do the promotion the way we were supposed to do it. We didn't do any promotion. Okay. And um, do you intend to make up 
uh, for that in, uh, on this uh, current one? Yes, that's what uh, uh, my level and I, that's basically what we are about doing with this remix. We have to promote the song and likewise promote the original so that people who didn't get to listen to the original, they will have the opportunity of listening to uh, the, the original. Okay. That. You're listening to Mr. Elat Cameroonian artist there speaking live from Douala, Cameroon on Apex One Radio's African Fiesta. And of course, he's telling us the story of Chakara remix version, which he just did with Nigeria's Ianya. Just uh, catch your breath for a few seconds. Let's listen to it again, then we'll be back with you, artist. They call you mommy water, girl I no mind Papa water, let me be your man Every night I go hold you tight, hold you tight They call you mommy water, girl I no mind Papa water, let me be your man Every night I go hold you tight, hold you tight With you I elevate, anything come my way will penetrate mm. My thing one no contemplate Okay, tell us, Mr. Uh, Elad, when did you uh, start music? Take us back to when uh, these uh, things started. Uh, I always get that question all the time. Mm. Well, I started music uh, when I was still in secondary school. Uh, that should be around uh, uh, 2001, okay. 2001, 2002, that... Uh, when I started music, I was just singing in the choir, just singing, singing like every other person. But I actually got into the music industry a uh, couple of years later. That should be around 2007. Mm. Okay. 2007. Uh, then I was opportunity to be uh, a pianist because I learned the piano like, uh, that should be about 2003. Mm. I had some lessons, and so by 2008, I was already a very good pianist. So that's when I decided to get into the music industry. But I've, I've been singing from uh, 2001, that right up to 2008. Right. But getting to the industry itself, that was in 2008. Hmm. So how many albums or singles do you have uh, in circulation so far? Uh, right now, I just have uh, three songs in the market. Uh, by the way, I I I ended up a song with Joby, Joby's first album. Okay. His first album, uh, HIV album. Uh, we have a song, All I Have. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't do the video. Uh, but I have three songs now. Chakara Original and the remix. And I have a song with uh, one of Mod House artists also. They call him Links. Mm-hmm. He's a rapper, he's a Cameroonian. Okay. So basically, three songs. But lots of songs will be coming up. Lots of songs. My EP and the album will definitely be coming out soon. Right. So what genre of music do you do and uh, why that choice? Uh, well, the musical scene or the industry has actually changed. Uh, Africans, we we have gotten to a level where we we love doing our own thing. People listen to us. Like Africans, they listen to the African music. So... What well, I decided to do Afro, Afro pop, that's how we call it, Afro pop. And being an R&B singer, I, I, what I definitely do is I mix R&B in whatsoever I'm doing. So you can call it R&B, Afro R&B, that's what I'm doing, Afro R&B. And I do that because uh, being an R&B singer, I have to contextualize whatsoever I'm doing. Okay. To, to suit the African uh, uh, the, the, the community, to what the people like. Right. So... And that is why I had to do the Afro R&B stuff, not just the R&B R&B, but the Afro R&B. Okay, so who are some of the Cameroonian artists you've worked with? Uh, I've worked with uh, Museba, I've worked with Jovi, uh, I've worked with uh, Ambe, formerly known as Benzi. Uh, I've worked with uh, Reni. I've worked with... Uh, too many gospel artists. Okay. Uh, I've worked with Flip J, I've worked with Oube. Uh, man, I just, some of those names, they just okay. stay out of my mind. But I've worked with a couple of them, a couple of them. Right. Many that I cannot mention now. Right, that's beautiful. Mm-hmm. So, I've worked with Magasco also. 
Mm. So, so tell me, eh, uh, I would imagine that there are some challenges you face as a uh, young, up-and-coming Cameroonian artist practicing the art eh, in Cameroon. What are some of these problems and how do you manage to go through? Well, the, talking about problems, there are a lot of such problems here. And being a young pop and coming artist, uh, I, I like to say that it's really, it's really difficult. The, the, the urban musical scene in Cameroon, it, it, it progresses. It, it's not like it's Nigeria, South Africa, or other popular uh, industries. No, Cameroon is still growing. Cameroon is still. It's still at that infant stage, and it's really difficult. Like, we don't really get shows, or when we get shows, the shows, the actors don't really get well paid. There are lots of stuff that need to change, and man, it's really difficult over here. But we are hoping that things will change with time because five years ago it wasn't like this. Right. Things have improved, so we are believing in the next two, three, four years, things will also improve. and Corporate organizations will definitely come in to to have shows and concerts and stuff that can really, you know, enable artists to, to showcase uh, the gift of music that they have. Right. Yeah. And this I have also an advantage being a producer, so I don't really face some of those difficulties like every other artist because I, besides being an artist, I'm a producer, so I I have an advantage that I sit in the studio and I work for other people so I basically what, what happens is my production enables me to, to, to actually take care of myself and be better than some of the artists out there who are just artists artists who just really have to wait for a show or a gig to have little money in their pocket right so that's beautiful hopefully things will go uh, things will get better eh? and Mr. Elad we are about to run off this interview do you have any concerts uh, in perspective do you have any shows coming up uh, as of now uh, I have a wedding uh, wedding that will be uh, I think on the 13th of August mm. they just called me three days ago that will be in the southwest province Kumba right with the size Okay, so yeah, as of now that's the only show I have. Right. So, if there are some young artists out there who want to work with you, uh, how can they get in touch with the artist? Uh, it's simple. Anybody who wants to work with me? It's simple. On Facebook, I am Mr. Elad, and there is Elad Denise. You can just leave me a message. Uh, if I'm not there, there's always somebody who's on my Facebook page who controls my Facebook and everything. So it's very simple. You can leave me a message, direct message on Twitter at Mr. Elat. I'm always there on Twitter, especially. Mr. Elat is his name, up and coming Cameroonian artist. He doubles as a producer, and of course, he's doing great. Mr. Elat, thank you so much for joining us. Bet. A little uh, acapella would do us some good here. Just for a few seconds. Thank you so much for that. So, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Always ready. All right, let's have it. <laughs> Girl, come closer, closer. Me and you now forever, ever. No retreat, no surrender. Surrender, ah. No surrender. Hey, they call you mommy water. Girl, I know mine. Papa, what I let me be your man. Every night I go hold you tight, hold you tight. Wow, wow, they call wow, you wow, mommy, wow. what thank I you, thank get out of my mind. With you, I elevate. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Elad. Uh, that was great. Want to thank you the so much for joining mine. us on Apex One Radio. So we hope to have you again on the airwaves of this station some other time. Anytime, anytime, mm. anytime. I'm waiting. Okay, do have a fantastic rest of the day out there in Douala. Thank you again for tuning in with Apex One Radio. Stay with us on www.apexoneradio.com. Apex One Radio, your radio.